Okay, welcome back. Um, I found that note about flip-plopping, but it's not very interesting. Um, am I gonna make it? Uh, basically, I guess I thought it was in interesting the difference between flip-flopping and changing your mind. Um, I guess flip-flopping is a, mostly a political thing, where people notice that you, you're you just changing your mind to get votes and maybe you never, people don't know what you really believe. So maybe you'll just change your mind later if, if that's the way, oops, I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, good. I thought I might have to go back up. Um, And that's why people don't like flip-flopping. And that's why I, I guess I don't like it either. Um, it, sometimes it can be kind of obvious when somebody just changes their mind. Because that's what the people want. And it's not what they actually believe. Um, I guess you kind of want to vote for somebody who has... Oops, I'm going to die. Okay. Huh. Who you can tell has principles that they believe in um, and if that person changes their mind it's okay because their core principles are still the same and I guess that all has to come across in kind of the explanation of why they're changing their mind The obvious example I think would be like with gay marriage, it's um, if you're let's say you're a Christian who was against how do I get up? It's not B. Um, okay, so here's an example. You're a Christian, Democrat, no, yes, you're a Christian, Democrat in a red state, so maybe 10 years ago, you would have been against gay marriage, but now if you want to get any Democrat votes, you have to be for it. Um, so it's good that that person would change their mind to be to be accepting of gay marriage. But people might reject that because they would say, well, you were against it 10 years ago, so are you just flip-flopping to get votes? So that person would have to explain why they changed their mind and what their principles are that caused them. Maybe they could say, um, I guess it is hard to tell still, even if they have, if, if you're a good, oh, what does she have to say? hard to tell because politicians are so good at kind of seeming like they're being sincere even when they're not so it's hard to tell um, but the right answer to that would be um, I guess you could say something like I was ignorant before of of how to treat gay people because I hadn't talked with them or 
that was kind of close-minded, but now that I've been around more people and I understand where they're coming from, I, I understand that it's not against the teachings of the Bible to support gay marriage, something like that. But it kind of sucks that people can be afraid to change their mind because they're afraid um, they'll get um, criticized for it. And so the people who they support now don't like them and the people who they are now disagreeing with don't like them. So what's the point of changing your mind if everybody's just going to hate you for it? <laughs> Any keys? There's one. <laughs> Ow. I usually say I don't care when games are linear, but I think when you make a dungeon, you can't make it linear. Some some Zelda dungeons are linear where like you open a door you get a key you open a door you get a key but i think general consensus is it's better not to be linear in a dungeon and i agree with that but i still in broader terms i think it's okay for a zelda game to be linear like you go to one dungeon then you go to another and there's an order you have to follow but um, I think there's pros and cons to both. I probably prefer... Well, I guess I prefer linear. Just because sometimes I I don't want to have to spend an hour trying to figure out where to go. So. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to say that if you're a true gamer, but... Well, um, I don't know if I had anything more to say about The Walking Dead. Um, I think I pretty much said everything. I, yeah, I'd, you could tell in maybe the sixth or seventh season. For some reason, they decided they wanted to copy Game of Thrones and ha introduce a bunch of different... Um, that copy isn't the right word. They saw... I think... I'm I'm pretty confident that they saw what Game of Thrones were doing was doing and, and maybe they thought, well, we didn't think we could do that before, but now look at how popular Game of Thrones is. Maybe we can do that the same thing. We have the... The comic books kind of go in that direction, so let's try and do it. We'll create four different um, towns, and then we'll have a bunch of different characters from these towns, and they'll interact in different ways. But it never worked for me the same way. There wasn't this feeling that... There was like a depth to the to each town and to each story. It's hard to explain because Game of Thrones they only have ten episodes a season, but everything felt so fully realized. I guess all the different houses and the characters they felt like they had a whole history of stuff that happened to them and you were just kind of 
joining them at a certain point. And then slowly over time you would learn more about them. I wonder how they did that. That's interesting. Because Walking Dead has 16 episodes, so they have more time to develop the characters. And, and they have less... There, it's, it's just three towns, and there are less characters and less towns, so why did it feel so underdeveloped compared to Game of Thrones? Um, especially to someone like me who didn't read the books before they watched the TV show. So I didn't know about all this stuff. About all the different houses and the different... Um, characters and the history of the different families and everything. I did kind of like in the last episode, last season of The Walking Dead, they were, <clears throat> they introduced this idea that they were rebuilding society, and like, there was different political struggles between the towns, um, I really liked the beginning of the ninth season, with Rick trying to, to be, to be a leader, to be almost like a mayor, or a or even a governor um, of all these towns and kind of have to be political and work to get them all to work together on this bridge project. <laughs> was, I really liked that a lot. Um, but then right after they killed Rick, they went back to doing the same old stuff and it was kind of boring. Um, yeah, the beginning of the ninth season, I was pretty excited because they they started to copy Game of Thrones they were introducing by being more political and introducing political struggles for Rick instead of just Rick good guy um, Negan bad guy good guy kill bad guy um, which is which is fun the first time it happened with Shane but once they keep doing it over and over again, it gets boring. Um, especially with, because with Shane, it was kind of surprising. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, I guess, I guess spoilers for season two, but Rick kills. Shane and <clears throat> it's not a new thing for that kind of a tragedy to happen but it did feel kind of new for it to happen in a TV show for them to kill one of the main characters who was um, supposedly uh, f Rick's best friend and and you just always kind of figured they would work it out but it felt right when he had to kill him. It was really satisfying and sad <laughs> and, and tragic and, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they're not the first people to do it. it. I'm sure Shakespeare wasn't even the first person to do it, but uh, in, in a TV show, it did feel kind of surprising. Like, what are they gonna do next? They just killed the main character. <laughs> And, and then they did that in Game of Thrones, and I was still surprised when that happened. Maybe a little bit less so. But they actually killed... It would be like killing Rick at the end of the first season. They killed... Um, but in Game of Thrones, it made more sense because they had developed <clears throat> a bunch of different characters already. So...
The Walking Dead, they really couldn't kill Rick, and it, the show would just would have been terrible after that because they hadn't developed any of the other characters. Um, and I still think at the when they well, Rick didn't die, but when Rick leaves in the ninth season, it's the show gets worse because the show is mostly about Rick, even though they tried to develop other characters before that, but. I can pick him up and throw him. Okay, let's get over there and then I'll do it next time. I feel like I've been doing better today, talking, but it's it's frustrating how it takes me like two episodes to get into it. I'm still I'm still not at the point where I want to be, like right now, talking. Um, I do think I just want to be louder and more confident and be able to string together thoughts better. But I think I'm getting better compared to six months ago. Five months ago, whenever I started doing this. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow.